Counting double digit thousand. <laughs>
and it's F3 is going to be about 100, a little less than that. And um, that's not great, especially for music quality. But what we can do is we can overlay this on here. So this will be the summed overlay of what that would look like. We go to our main, and you see that's just not really what we want. We kind of want more of a output than that. Now this particular speaker is actually designed better for a vented box. So let's try a vented box. And what we're going to do now is uh, change the vented size because it's going to need to be changed. Now I already figured out the vented size. Once again, it says about 0.3 and 0.3 is about 8.5 liters. So let's put that in here. And now we're going to get this. But oh man, that graph does not look very good. Now there's a reason why this graph doesn't look very good and that's with the FB. The FB talks about tuning frequency. Um, and if you get a dip like this, that means that you're tuning way too low. So let's change that to closer to, let's say, 50. All right, so now we got a much better. All right, 52, maybe. Oh, I did 82. All right, there you go, about 52. Now, if you take a look, now we're getting a very good response. You want this to be about as even as possible and then drop down. So you want the lowest F3 as possible. Now you see we get a lot more extension. We're at 100, 90, 80, 70, 60, all the way down to 50 hertz all the way over there. So if we transfer that to our page, we can go to our main page, and there we go. That's what that would look like. Um, and that's what you would do if that's the type of box you want. However, there's, there's other options that you may want to do as well. And before we get off this program, let me show you uh, one of the best uh, ports you can buy is for Parts Express is uh, 1 and 3 eighths, which is 1.375. This tells you how many vents you're going to use. You're going to use 1, 2, 3, 4, however many vents you want. And this is going to tell you the length of the vent, 3.9 inches. So 1.375, 1 3 eighths, there you go. Okay. And you're going to need about 3.9 inches. And there's another program that does this, and it's called WinISD. Now let me open up WinISD to show you what I mean. You do need to import the driver. Now I've shown you in an earlier video how to do this. I think this program is a little bit more useful for box design. That's just my personal opinion. So you can do sealed or vented. Since we already know uh, sealed doesn't work very well, we're going to go ahead and go vented. And now here you have a couple different options. Um, and here's the two that I would um, strongly suggest using, either Super Boombox or Chevy Chev, uh, and there's a reason why I'd use one of these. Super Boombox gives you a, a big bass boost and really from 100 to 80 hertz and so, so on. So I'm going to show you actually what that looks like. Uh, and there's a reason why you might want to use that. Uh, one, it's a smaller box. And two, if this is like a music only or something that's going to be crossed over at 80 hertz, you, you may want that bass boost. Uh, so let's, let's do a Super Boombox and we're going to go ahead and create that. Or if you think Baffle Step is going to be a problem. This can help uh, reduce baffle step. So let's uh, and let's do a vented Chevy Chev, and we're going to call this flat. And here we go. Let me change color of this to red, just so we know that each box is different. So let's take a look at these two. Now, if you take a look, we have completely different responses, right? So if you look at the uh, super boom box, you're starting to get an increase, and you really get an increase from about 200 hertz all the way down to uh, about 70. So you get a really nice bass boost. Your F3 is going to be about 63 or 64, somewhere around 64, uh, which is a very nice response. Now you're going to get a much more out of the Chevy Chev, okay? So your F3 is going to be about 45 hertz, but you're not going to get that bass boost here. Now let me show you on here how to figure out your box size. Your box size luckily is listed at 0 0.130 already and it tells you your tuning frequency. Now if you want to change that you could, so if you want to change that to 65 for example you could or if you want to change that to you know whatever it was, you know I was about 79. Uh, and you're going to go to your vents, we're going to put in 1.375 again and this gives us about a 3.91. But if you take a look at the box size, it's only 0.13 cubic feet, which is a pretty small box. On the Chevy, 
um, you're looking at Chevy Chev, you're looking at 2.292, which is over double the size of that box. So you're going to need a considerably bigger box to get that response. Uh, the vent size, though, is about the same size, four inches. So that actually doesn't make a huge difference, but that just shows you how the vent size and box size actually determine the tuning frequency. Now, there's a lot more into this program that I'm not going into because I already did in the other one. But these are the two ways to uh, figure out your box size and what you want to do. Now, some of this is experimentation. So once you build it, some of this is experimentation as far as, all right, let's build the Super Boombox first and see if we like the sound out of it. If we don't, let's then change it or add you know more cubic feet to the box to, to get it to a size that we like. Now the reason why I say this and the reason why this is important to understand is that there is going to be even with proper design in your crossover and proper box modeling there's going to be uh, some variations that you're going to do after you create the crossover and, and the box. You're going to have to do um, some testing to make sure that you get the, the perfect results. All right, guys, I hope you learned something, and if you did, please give it a thumbs up. And as always, like the video, share it with your friends, subscribe, and uh, we will continue to get videos out to you guys as fast as we can. And if you are on Twitter, don't forget Twitter. Don't forget to follow me. Thanks. Double digit thousand.